And welcome to Just for Clicks, guys. This is Michael Buckheisher, and this is live, raw, and uncut sports talk on this Monday afternoon. We are continuing our 2019 NFL uh, 2019 season breakdown, like I should say. Kind of lost train of thought there for a second. And uh, it's obviously because it's live and all raw and uncut. So sometimes I might wander, sometimes I stutter a lot. It is, it is what it is. And uh, sometimes you hear background noise because we're driving down the highway usually, usually. But this 2019 Atlanta Falcons team really has me scratching my schedule. First of all, their schedule starting out the first the first eight weeks is tough, guys. It is a tough, tough schedule, and then it ends pretty fairly easy, uh, NFL standard wise. Like like I guess you can say. But let's go ahead and start start start, start breaking down this uh, this schedule. But before we do that, I want to touch on this uh, quarterback situation, the Matt Ryan quarterback situation that you guys have. I have been on record on many occasions on this show, on the Marcus and Mike show, uh, on other sports podcasts that I have been on. Anytime you pay a quarterback a hundred million dollars, the team has not been successful. Ever since Matt Ryan has gotten his $100 million deal, Atlanta Falcons just have not been successful. Yes, they have not been horrible. Like the Detroit Lions. Like the CLC Seahawks will be next year. But you cannot allocate damn near 40% of your salary every year to a quarterback. To one position on the field. So you have... So let's just take this into example. You have $10 million to spend on 52 players. You give $4 million of that $10 million to one person. Now you have $6 million to go around 51 players. You, you, you just can't do it. You just can't do it. And that is why the Atlanta Falcons will forever be mediocre. So see, week one... They start on the road, and they travel to, many, to Minneapolis to take on the Vikings. I have you guys losing that game. Uh, it's just, it is hard to win week one, two, or three on the road, especially when it's a opening game for that particular home team. So that week one is a loss, starting season 0-1. Then you guys are come back home to the Mercedes-Benz Dome, the, quite frankly the most expensive domes I have I think is around, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Taking on the highest rated team in Madden, the Philadelphia Eagles. I have you guys losing that one. I I think the Philadelphia Eagles are still going to be pretty good uh, first part of the season. Uh, I have you guys losing this one. Starting Starting to see a trend here. Week three, traveling to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. It's another loss. Guys, playing at Colts Stadium, uh, what is that field called? Uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. That place is a tough place to play for, 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 I mean, it's, I mean, it's not really loud, but it's, it's, it's a noisy field. Every game I've been there, it's just like the, I mean, like the fans are like into it, you know, cheering and getting loud or, or, but it, it is just, it is just a, a consistent loud chatter. Uh, so, but you guys start the season at 0, 0 and 3. But finally, week four, you guys get in the wind column. Take it on the Tennessee Titans. I think you guys are better than the Titans this particular week because, I mean, like, I don't see you guys starting the season 0-8. So there are, there are some swing games that that I would want to pick the Titans in this game, but I, I just I, – I, I don't foresee you guys starting start the season 0-8. So that – I'm kind of giving you a, a – a, 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 a gimme win here, but you are at 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 home. Take on the Titans, so that that's your first win of the season. Start the season off one and three. So the first quarter of the season, you guys are uh, not doing so well. Do you improve the second quarter of the season? Not likely. Traveling to Houston, taking on the Texans in a very loud uh, Houston Dome down there. That this is another loss. One and five now, guys. Uh, I mean. I just don't have faith in y'all this year. Sorry. Next week, week number six. This is one of those games that you that that you have to win 
because later in the later in the year the season gets a little easier. Take on the Arizona Cardinals. This is a must-win situation. You cannot go what one and five at this point, but you guys do. I I have faith in Arizona. Uh, I think you know they're they they just got your guys' number this particular game. Week seven, another loss. Take it on the L.A. Rams. Rams are just too good. Got a good quarterback. They got a good coach. They got a good running game. They got a great defense. So your guys' defense isn't very good. You can try to go toe-to-toe with them with, with their offense, but their offense is better than yours. Their defense is better than yours. Give me, give me the Rams in, like in this one. Week number eight, back at home, take on the Seattle Seahawks. This game, I I initially had it marked down as a loss. But then I'm looking at this because I'm like, there is no way, no way the Falcons are going to go 1-7. and seven. So I changed my pick. I flip-flopped. This is one of those swing games. This is a, a $100 million quarterback taking on a $100 million quarterback. It's going to be an ugly game. But you guys pull out the win versus the Seahawks. Get going into the bye week 2-6. and six. So this is part of the season where I think you guys start to turn around. A much needed bye week. Start start the season two and six. Week week ten, you don't get the the cart totally turned around, but you start going in the right direction. Take on the New Orleans Saints at New Orleans Saints. This is a loss, but it's a it is a respectable loss. It is going to be a close game. 21-26, you know, type of score. Maybe 31-28. It's going to be a very res- res- respectable game. So, you guys are now, what, 2-8, and eight, but starting to turn in the right direction. Week 11, you start turning even more in the right direction. Taking on the Ca- Carolina Panthers at Carolina. This is one of those swing games that you that you have to that you have to have to make the playoffs, but I don't I, I just don't see it happening. Uh, you, you guys lose to Carolina in uh, week eleven. And then finally you get the ship righted. You you guys start going on a little bit of a tear here. Taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home, you guys wax them. You guys give it to them. 35 to 3. It is People are like, oh, where had this Falcons team been all been all season? Well, you guys just had tough competition. Giving you guys a third win on the season. Week 13, you bring back the Saints into town. Like I, I, like I said last week, I hate it when teams play basically back-to-back games versus the same, the, 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 uh, the, uh, uh, the same teams. You, you guys are playing the Saints two out of the four weeks here. But you guys are at home on this one. Take on the Saints. I give you this win. You guys ride the ship after a bye week. You know, you travel to Nor- to Nor- New Orleans, gave them a run for their money. They they squeaked it out on a lot second field goal. But this one, you guys give it to them. 21-10. Going on to week 14. This is another uh, two games in a month. You guys, this is the second time you guys are playing Carolina in a month. At home this time. And you beat Carolina this this time. Give you guys the third straight win. Now you guys are looking at a uh, five-win season so far. Traveling to San Francisco, week 15. People are kind of high on the San Francisco 49ers right now. I'm not for sure where they're at. I haven't broke down their schedule. But you guys win this one. Giving you a four-win streak here. Week 16. Take it on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Once again, Jacksonville Jaguars are one of those teams that you don't really know what what they're going to be. They're either going to be a playoff bound team or they're going to be a first or second overall pick. I have you guys beating Jacksonville. Five straight wins now, guys. You guys are making that strong playoff push. But is it too little too late? Who knows? Week 17. Another uh, back-to-back weeks here. Basically, you're playing the back the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Not not quite a month, a month and a week. But you guys are on this one, two, three, four, five game winning streak, and you beat Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is horrible. They'll be four and twelve, possibly. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the schedule. 
but they'll be a four or five win team. They won't be very good. You guys pull off six straight wins to end the season, giving you an eight and eight record on the season. A respectable eight and eight, but that, but that, uh, the uh, two and ten start that you that you had, that's tough. That is tough. Luckily, the bye week falls right in the middle of the season for you guys. So you had that training up for you and an easier schedule to end the, to, to end the season. So you guys are going to finish. I had you guys finish, finish the season 8-8 eight and eight with the six-game winning streak. So if you guys make the playoffs, you'll be hot. You will be damn near the hottest team in the NFL if you make the playoffs. Kind of like the Colts of this past season. You know, they, they started, I think it was even 2-5 and five or 2-6 and six that they started. Same, almost the same exact identical record that you guys will have going into the bye week. And then you'll get hot. So, Atlanta fans, this four, first eight, nine weeks of the season, you guys are not, not going to want to wear your Falcons gear. No matter where you go, you're, you just are not going to want to wear it. But hang on till the end. Final six weeks, six, six straight friends versus Buck. Bucks, Saints, Panthers, 49ers, Jacksonville, Bucks again. Hang on. 8-8 eight eight season is what I have for the Atlanta Falcons. Just for clicks, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, follow me on Instagram, or I'm sorry, at, on the Twitter machine, at mbuck41. Go ahead and tweet at me all your hate comments. I, I love reading those. They they definitely make, make my day. They make me smile. Share this with a couple friends if you guys are enjoying the content. Give me a ranking if you listen to us on iTunes as well. If you're listening to us on Spreaker, go ahead and follow that application. Uh, get you a notification every, every time we go live. This is Just for Clicks, and we out.